okay so hello hello everyone uh, let me start with asking a few questions so my first question is that uh, you guys invest in stock markets yes we do yeah yes so can you ever imagine investing in a stock market without looking at the charts and the graphs Mm. difficult difficult it will be very risky on the same lines when you invest in a startup uh, you would obviously look at hundreds of parameters right and the kpis and so many things that's true yeah so what is the biggest asset that we invest in all of us invest in Just what is that the... one biggest asset Our... that all of us invest in sorry asset so yep. i will define it as your career right so we all invest in our career and that is the biggest asset what we invest in we invest 30 to 40 years of our life the most important part of our life we invest the eight most productive hours of the day we invest a lot of money in our education and skill development when we do so much of thing investing in our career and we expect so much out of it what are the kpis what are the metrics is what are the graphs and charts that support you to invest in your career so the point is that we don't have any such you know graphs and charts to look at our career look at the growth and maybe take some corrective actions whenever possible so that is the problem statement that we have identified working in hr sector for last 3 years and before that i was in edu tech for last 26 years and having taught more than 6 lakh students of chartered accountants so the point is that you have certain solutions right now now what the solutions are when we talk about a career and when we talk about a career journey the first thing that comes to mind is your resume and cv but all of you are aware what this resume and cv is it's a 100 year old pattern that we still use in a black and white format it contains information but not analytics there is no data there then there are certain resume builders out there these days there are a lot of resume builders which help you build your resume but they also focus only on keywords the keywords that you know match with the job description so that your resume crosses the ats the application tracking system then you have got linkedin profile these days people share the linkedin profile but every one of us has linkedin profile but when you download it in the form of a resume it's again a text based format basically and similarly there are certain portfolios out there like behance and gitlab and all which technical people use and they are basically for showcasing your portfolio right so what we have built is a platform which measures your skills by way of assessments it measures your personality trait by way of psychometric assessments and it values your experience that's a very crucial thing that's something which we are building and uh, that's not there out there in the market today so there are a lot of assessment tests like codility and uh, one to hr and all but there is there is no way to measure or value your experience today what happens when you go for a job is the hr asks you okay how many years of experience you have got and you say 6 years or 10 years in a particular company two questions what that 6 year means if i work for 6 years in company a and in company b that might give me a totally different experience right so it all then becomes very human bias and it depends on how the interview goes what questions are asked in the interview and that's leading to a lot of problems in the hr sector the recruitment side and all of us know how it exists so what we are doing is we are cutting down this whole process into a very analytical fashion we want data driven keyword rich skill focused and decision oriented career profile